Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel for another, yes another guys I know, another Evercade video guys, looking at another collection guys, another cart for the fantastic oh, Evercade family of systems guys by Blaze Entertainment, that wonderful, wonderful company in my opinion. But yes we've been taking a look at quite a lot of these lately haven't we? And it's always, oh, just wonderful to have another cart to show you guys. And now, this one, especially if you're here in Blighty, guys, in the UK, will be one that is very, very familiar to you. If you're of a certain age and you were into your computers back in the day, guys, into your microcomputers. And that is Gremlin. Now, that is a name, oh, that was so fantastic on the Amiga, or, and way before that, guys. So many fantastic franchises came from Gremlin. And uh, yeah, one of them is Zool, guys. One that I absolutely dearly love. So this collection is number 24. Checking again. 24, and it is the Gremlin collection, one. Oh my word, what a fantastic thing. This is probably going to be. Jesus, fingers crossed. Um, there he is. There's Zool right there, guys. I won't show you too much because we're going to be taking a look around it. Will you get any extra bits in this one? That'd be interesting to know, wouldn't it? Yeah. But yes, guys, six titles on this one. So, wow. Gremlins, eh? Hmm. Like I said, if back in the day you had a microcomputer, I'm absolutely certain you came across Gremlins. Yep, you certainly did. Gremlin collection will it be fantastic guys will it be a nice throwback to this period in time i mean six games yeah you're gonna get some joy out of that aren't you and i'm absolutely sure but what six games are actually on there that is the point of this video as i show you isn't it mm. is it worth you picking it up for your original handheld your vs or are you waiting for your new handheld to arrive and you want to, you know, purchase some wicked cards? Well, let's find out, guys, if it's worth you picking this one up, shall we? As we take a look at the Gremlins Collection 1 for the Evercade family of systems. Right, hold on to your britches, because this is going to be brilliant. He says, fingers crossed. Right, back in a sec. Right, here we go, guys. Another one. Yes, we're taking a look around the box again, guys. The fantastic box and what content is in there. Is there any extras? Yeah, we're going to take a look at the Gremlin Collection 1. Only six titles, guys. But look at that again. Look at that again. Yeah, 8-bit, 16-bit and 32-bit games on here, guys. Absolutely wonderful. And, of course, there, right on the front, is Zool. God, do I love that franchise. It is so colourful, so fun, and rock bloody hard, but it is fantastic. But yeah, look at that cover. Awesome, awesome, awesome cover. And of course, this is number 24. There we go with the stem. The gremlins at the bottom there. Brilliant. And here is the back, guys. Wow, look at that. Fantastic. Let's pull it in so you can see what games are there. There we go. As you can see, there's a couple of football games there. But don't let that put you off. Ha 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 ha. Some people would absolutely love that. <laughs> they really, really would. Yeah, absolutely fantastic looking. And here we go again, the broken record bit. You know what I'm going to say. These boxes are fantastic. This hard plastic boxes are just wonderful. Oh, reminders of the Mega Drive and the Master System back in the day. Yes, I know I've said it all before. Oh, so what? Yeah, brilliant. But we've got to find out what is in here. 
<sighs> Is there going to be extra bits? Hmm. Let's have a look. <gasps> no, just the book. Oh, what a shame, eh? But you can't have it always, can you? You can't have something and everything. It is wonderful when there is some extra bits, sir. But yeah, let's take a look at the book first, shall we? Let's have a look. I always say this as well, guys. These are fantastic quality. Nice paper is used, nice and thick. Uh, yeah, and look at that cover of this book again, guys. And how wonderful is it this day and age to get a book at all? Because that's become a very rare thing, hasn't it? Let's take a look again. I won't show you every page, but we'll take a look. Oh, there he is. Look, the little bugger. There's Zool with his lollies. Mm. But yeah, it gives you a little bit of information about each game. Obviously about the developer as well. Actual soccer. Uh, Utopia. And so on. But as I say, guys, I won't go through the whole book because that'll just get boring. And when you get this collection, if you're going to get this collection, of course, you can look yourself. But yeah, there we go. Wonderful. And with this being a slightly later one, look, the BS is on the back of this book. So that is great as well. So yeah, wonderful, wonderful book. But now let's take a look at the cart itself. Push that out the way again. There we are. So yeah, let's go to the front first, silly. Right, there we are. In green. Wow, that is wonderful just having that Gremlins. Oh, bloody icon there, guys. That is fantastic. Again, broken record, but look at these carts. They're just wonderful throwbacks again to a time where we all use carts, wasn't it? Uh, Gremlins Collection 124 there, of course. And, of course, Blaze in the middle, embossed again. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Let's lay it all out again, shall we? So yes guys, fantastic eh? No, oh, it is a shame that there's no little extra bits in there, but still fantastic. Oh, just wonderful. This, oh, the Gremlins logo there guys, and Zool, and oh, it just makes it for me. Wonderful, wonderful collection. Or is it? That is the thing. Has it been implemented well? That's what we've got to find out now, isn't it? As we play these six games. Yeah, shall we do that? Get ready for this, it's gonna be fun. Right, here we go guys, with the Gremlin Collection 1 for your Evercade family of systems. Six games, and of course you can see them all here guys. Again, you can only scroll down a little bit to see Zool better, there we go. But yeah, they're all up the top, apart from Zool. And it starts with Aqua Soccer. You have Brain Bender. Hardcore 4x4. Premier Manager 97, Utopia, the creation of a nation, and Zool, of course, the best one on here. But let's go to the beginning, shall we, guys, as we take a look at the first title. So, yeah, Actua Soccer, guys, 1995, sports two player. But, yeah, look at those sprites at the top, guys, absolutely awesome. Again, and the cover. Oh, just so nostalgic there. As I've said many times before on my channel, I'm not a huge sports fan, but I'll give it a go, and sometimes I really surprise myself and then really enjoy it. But let's go down to read more. There we are, it's pretty simple, I think. I don't know if it's going to move on. No, it's not. That's all you get. The beautiful game is back. <laughs> Excellent, of the 32-bit error. Yeah. Look at those controls. There we are, a lot to uh, see there. Oh my word, is there a lot to see there. Move player and all that. Yeah, obviously switch player, speed boost, all that. Shoot, yeah. Okie dokie. Well, I'll let you read the rest of it then. Let's just go and play this thing, shall we? Right, shall we be English? Yeah, I think so, eh? Oh, 
that's all pretty damn fine looking, isn't it, eh? In all its 32-bit glory. Right, so here we go with the main menu. So you've got friendly, player one, simulation, setup controls, memory card, and all that, guys. Because it is, obviously, the PlayStation version. Yeah, that is, that is so funny to see memory card there, guys. Yeah, obviously, that's your save, isn't it? But let's just uh, start, shall we? Yeah, that'll do. The play can match the uh, pitch. We should be in for a good contest. Looks good. That's for sure. Let's see how awfully I can play this. Right, here we go. Let's see. Here we go. It's a short pass. Stuart. Go, 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 you bugger. Go, 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 go. Oh, you sod. <laughs> My usual kind of wonderful playing oh, here. Oh yes, we got it. Look, we got it. Oh, he's got it now. No, 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 no. You sod. Oh, we got it. Nice one. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, this is very, very fun, guys. Wow. Not bad at all, eh? For someone who says he doesn't like football games. Oh, we got close. Got close. Bummer. There we go. Let's go for it. Oh, you sod. Get off. <laughs> Every bloody time, eh? Come on, you buggers. Oh, it's Sorry. gone out again. Here we go. And where should we go? Uh, there. Let's go there. That's it. Go on, get it, you bugger. Come on, that's it. Get away from him. Go on, get away from him. Yeah, that's it. Just storm your way through. Come on. Don't pass it. Oh, you buggers. Oh, here we go. 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 Oh, and get it off. Oh, straight over to him. No! <laughs> oh, nearly. Oh, for God's sake. I tell you what, guys. That is so bloody fun. It's unbelievable. But you know what? It's time to move on. Right after that football glory there um, of my terrible playing. We're on to a puzzler, guys, with Brain Bender. Look at those sprites at the top. Don't know why they went for black and white necessarily, but there you go. Um, fantastic looking cover. And uh, yeah, 1991 puzzle, one player. And uh, let's go to the uh, read more. Don't think you're going to get a lot here, guys. It's basically just telling you are. Uh, Master of Mirrors? Oh, are you a Master of Mirrors? Bounce your laser beam around 120 levels and destroy gas spheres and shut down electronic brains and all that crap, you know. There we go, guys. That's all you're getting. Right, let's go back. Down to those controls. Rotate mirror. Rotate mirror. Pause. Move cursor. Abort or restart puzzle. So extremely straightforward. Let's play this game, shall we? Loving that. Wow. That'll be why it's black and white then, eh? Because the game is black and white. <laughs> Wicked. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of bloody fun. And very uh, retro, eh? That's for sure. Here we go, guys. Let's play this thing then. Right, we'll have it on easy, thank you very much. Yeah, it's me. That'll do, thank you. So we keep turning these round, guys, that's the thing. So that you can meet up in the end. So you got to turn that one around there, and then you turn this one around here, like that. Whoa, he says, come on, let's get it up there. That's it, and then turn that one around like that, so that you can reach those little sods underneath. There we go. That's it, cool. Then you move down here. time guys gonna run out of time no <laughs> that's 
that's it, that's what I wanted. You bugger. There we go, let's get it. Go on, quick, 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 quick. Oh, now back again. That's it, that's what I wanted. Oh, run out of time again. Right, one more try, that is it, guys. Just the one. Come on, go back, you bugger. That's it. Come on. Ooh, you swine. <laughs> oh, whatever. There we go. That round. There we go. No, I'm going wrong again, guys. Going wrong again. Oh, well. You know what to do about that, eh? There we go. Turn it around. Wicked. Down to here straight away. Let's get over there. Hopefully that'll do it. Oh, back again. That's it. Excellent. There we go. Well, we've got further this time at last. <laughs> at least that's something, eh? Oh, oh well. It's time to move on. Now for something very different indeed, guys. This is a racing game. This is hardcore four by four. You can see at the top there guys, fantastic sprite work again, fantastic cover again, look at that, awesome. But yeah, 1996, racing, one player. Let's go down to the uh, read more. Don't think there's anything else there, just that guys, face off against the five other tougher truckers. Wow. Okay, let's go back. And go down to those controls. Let's have a look. Accelerate, handbrake, change view, horn, shift, downshift, steering and all that guys and brake of course at the bottom there. Right, straightforward enough I think. Let's hope, let's go up and play this thing then. Here we go with your language select. Obviously, we're going to go for English. Excellent intro there. And let's play this. Yes, we want novice, don't we? Yes, we do. Probably not me. Oh, <laughs> I can imagine that on the PlayStation this is going to be a lot easier to control, but I tell you what, I'm loving this already and I'm doing absolutely piss poor. But I think it's marvellous at the same time. Look at it. Oh, this is just fantastic. Oh, <laughs> very, very uh, dodgy controls, it has to be said, but I'm sure. You can very easily get used to it. Oh, this is excellent. Absolutely excellent. Pixelated glory here. Oh, yeah. Imagine this with the uh, yeah the sticks on the uh, PlayStation. Guys. So it would be absolutely wonderful. And it's still working all right with the D-pad. It just takes some getting used to, guys. This is awesome. The music's fantastic as well. Like a heavy uh, metal kind of beat, guys. I'm absolutely loving this already. What a fantastic game. But then I love my races, don't I? As you all know. Oh, and I'm stuck. I'm at. Go on, you bugger. Get off. Let's try and get past these buggers again. They've all overtaken me, the sods. Right, let's get over here. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's just wonderful to see PlayStation graphics on the Evercade guys. Just awesome. And of course, two titles on here have the uh, PlayStation ports, so at least two up to now anyway. There we go. 
way you get around the sodding. Ooh, that's where it'd be better with a stick to get around them corners. But I'll tell you what, get used to this D pad control and you're going to be away. This is fantastic. And I'm going completely the wrong direction and everybody's overtaking me. So I'm probably in last place now, sixth. How embarrassing is that? Especially on the racing game. Oh, I just keep headbutting everything. But you know what, guys? This is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. That's all I can say. Absolutely loving it, even though I'm doing absolutely awful. As usual. Won't want to shock you by doing well. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, what a good place to stop, though, guys, as we move on. Right guys, after that fantastic title, here we go with Premier Manager 97. Not my kind of thing, I'm afraid. I will show you it, obviously, it's on here. I do like the sprite work at the top there, that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's the cover, looking very football-y, basically. Uh, yeah, 96 sports, two player. Obviously, it's 96 for it to have been Premier Manager 97, because they have to release it before then, don't they? Let's go down to that read more. You've proven yourself on the field, but how will you do as a manager's hot seat? In a manager's hot seat. Okay, that seems to be all you get. Yeah, there we go. And down to the controls, you have hide, show, icon, select option, select option, move cursor, and all that. Now, the trouble with me and these manager games, guys, I just get very bored with them. They're not my kind of thing, but I can appreciate them for what they are and the love other people have for these games. All right, shall we play it then? Here we go. I do apologize about any sounds in the background. We've got workmen out the front. Yeah, here we go. Right, let's start. Number of players, one, yeah, that's it, that'll do, thank you very much. Start the game, yeah, here we go. Right, here we go then, so this is your menu of all the different bits and bobs. Yeah, all the different bits here, I have absolutely no idea what any of it means, of course. Because you're going to, like, the pitch here, I suppose, yeah, there we go. So you can see there what you've got to do. I'm not going to go any further than that, guys, because there's absolutely no point in me even trying. So we'll just uh, yeah do whatever it is I'm supposed to be doing here, I suppose. Yeah, uh, no clue, guys, no clue. So yeah, let's go back, do we, or what? What do we do? Do we go back or not? I don't know. Ah, right, okay, I get it, I get it, yeah. So you're basically buying your seats and stuff like that, the capacity and things, yeah, I suppose. And then you can just go here to go back, can you? Yeah, and go back, right. So let's go into another choice here, shall we? There we go. There's all your different players and what have you. Yeah, okay. Exit and go back. Please go back, that's it, yeah. So yeah, that's interesting. Right, what have we got here now? Let's have a look. Okay, obviously you probably all know what the hell this all means. I have absolutely no idea, guys. I do apologise, just not my thing. And can I bring that back? Yes, I can, there we go. So let's go down to, for instance, the form. There we go, obviously it's to ring up and uh, get more players, I suppose. Oh, it's the job centre, that's why, yeah. You can see all these different icons here. Yeah, where you can go in, even one to heal, I suppose, your players, yeah, okay. Right, and let's go down to this one. Let's have a look here. Yeah, there we go. All the bits and bobs you need to obviously build up your team and what have you. Yeah, cool. All right, and down to here. Right, okay, there we go. Obviously, you probably know. <coughs> obviously, you probably know what this all means. I do not. So here we go. Right, what is going on here? I have absolutely no bloody idea. I presume it's supposed to be a match going on. Who knows? Who knows? I haven't a clue. Right, let's go down here. 
and exit. But I'm going to leave it there, guys, because I have no idea what I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with it. It's just not my thing. Right, here we go, guys, with Utopia, the creation of a nation. Yep, 1993 strategic one player. Loving the sprite work at the top. But again, guys, this is not my kind of game. I don't really get on with them very well. Normally, I just find them all a bit boring. Um, but that's just me, guys. I can completely understand if you love this type of game. I do love that cover. Look how, how uh, iconic again does that look. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go down to the read more. You've been offered the job of colony leader. Right, okay, okay. That seems to be it again, guys. Yeah, not a lot there for you to read. Let's go into the controls. Oh, quite a lot there going on, guys, on each button. Switch between build. Yeah, and all that. Wow. Yeah, I'll let you read that, guys. There's, there's so much there on each uh, button. Right, let's go and play this thing then. Or at least uh, show you it. I wouldn't exactly call it playing, you know, because it's really not my thing, guys. I'm probably going to mess it completely up like I did the uh, football manager game. Right, here we go. There we go with the intro card. Oh, this is so reminiscent, isn't it, of the microcomputers, guys, this type of intro. Like on your Amiga and what have you. Wow. That is cool. Right, let's go play this thing then. Right, well, welcome to Utopia. Yeah, we're going to start the game, guys. Because I wouldn't know what else to bloody do, would I? No, I wouldn't. Like I said, not my kind of thing, usually. Right, are we moving around here? Or what? What are we doing here? I have no idea, guys. Right, let's go in and see. Okay, so this is where you buy things, I presume it. Yeah, I presume that's what this is. Should we buy this funny little thing here? Yeah, let's get that. Can I place that somewhere now? Oh yeah, there we go, I placed it already, cool. So yeah, that's what you do guys, all the different icons here. You can obviously buy buildings and things like that. There's some interesting characters there. Uh, I think we might need him. He looks kind of intelligent and like he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? Okay. We are running out of living space. Build more living quarters to meet future demands. Oh, okay, these are people just advising me, I take it. Right, okay. Right, okay, yeah. Telling you all the bits of information there. Yeah, civil engineer. Yeah, he's telling you loads of stuff as well. Yeah, medical facilities are limited and all that. Head of research. Okay, he has insufficient funds. Right, okay, and who's he then? Who's this bad boy? Supreme Commander, of course he is. Yeah, so basically he's telling you you've got to buy more gear, isn't he? Mm. Okay, then let's go here again. Is this what we're doing here? I am a bloody clue, guys. I'm not clue what I'm doing here. Oh, well, whatever. Start new game. Oh, okay. Save current game. All right, so that was just, yeah. Saving it. All right, okay, so what are we doing then? Oh, okay. Hopefully that makes sense to you because it makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. As I said, don't like these kinds of games and I don't ever really want to, you know, dive deep into one. They're just too boring for me. But, you know... Again, fantastic game to have on here for you guys if you enjoy this type of game. Absolutely blinding, yeah. But there we go, guys. I'm going to leave it there because I don't know what I'm doing once again. It was bound to happen on a fantastic cartridge like this because gremlins are responsible for... Or gremlin are responsible for so many wonderful titles. They really are. And just because they don't sue to me, a couple of them, so be it. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys will absolutely adore them. Right, let's move on to my favourite one on this whole cartridge, guys. Right, here for me comes the absolute star of the show, guys. It's Zool. 
Oh, God, do I love this game so much. I love this franchise full stop. Let's have a look. Fantastic sprite work at the top there. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. That cover, oh, it just brings back so many memories for me, guys. I absolutely adored this game when it came out. I had it on the Amiga, of course. Uh, 1992, platform one player. Zool. Right, let's go to the read more. Again, not anything else to read, guys. Just the one bit here. Zool is not an ant. He is the guardian of the ninth dimension. The protector. <laughs> Wicked. Right. Controls, guys. Pretty straightforward. Punch on the ground. Spin in the air. Jump. Fire. Pause. Move. Zool. Simple as that. Right. Let's play this. Oh, gem of a game. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Here we go. Wicked. Here he goes. I'm probably going to play terrible because as much as I love it, it is rock bloody hard. Get all the uh, sweeties and cakes and what have you because you're going to need them. It's got that bloody bee there, horrible there. Oh, you yeah, bugger, got him. Okay. Yep, got him as well, excellent. The way you can stick on the walls is just fantastic in this game, guys, it really is. Yeah, get as much as you can. There we go, this one. Oh, you got to make the same time, never mind. Flipping wonderful this is, guys. Hey, spin around that, like that, that's it. Yeah, brilliant when you spin like that. You can jump on the enemies as well, of course. Got it. Right, last go, guys. Back there now. But I'll tell you what, guys, that's fine. That's where we're going to leave it. Oh, wonderful. Just getting used to the Evercade uh, VS controls again. Well, guys, what did you think of this collection? What did you think of those six titles? I think they're absolutely brilliant. They really, really are. Yeah, a couple of them aren't really my thing, like, you know, the manager, football manager game and what have you. Um, and Utopia, of course. But in general, oh, they're fantastic, guys. So, oh, just absolutely amazing. And that Zool is on there is fabulous. I love that game so much and the franchise in general, as I have said already. But yeah. No extras, guys. No extras in this cart. But you can't always have extras. That is the thing, isn't it? At the end of the day. It's a shame, but there you go. But yeah, fantastic collection. Anyway, do you remember the Gremlin games back in the day? Or Gremlin games back in the day? Did you, uh, you know, own a microcomputer back in the day? And these six titles are very familiar to you. Uh, yeah, I'll be very interested to see your comments below again, guys. You know I love to read them. So yeah, another fantastic collection that gets a massive thumbs up from me. Literally massive. Yeah, 
bumped up from me again guys again the layers at their best getting these licenses guys is wonderful and yet they're going to keep on banging them out there's a hell of a lot more to come from blaze yet but yeah again wonderful i enjoyed playing these games immensely right and with that guys i'm going to wrap things up and say the usuals starting with do you love the ever kid would you like more ever kid or love well head over to facebook because there is a fantastic group over there it is the Evercade Fans Hub where Roger and his team will take care of you. There is a ton of content on that group, guys. Just a ton of it. And my fantastic friend Crazy Burger is over there as well. And uh, he has made a hell of a lot of Evercade videos, guys, for you to enjoy. And they are top notch. So, yeah, head over to the fantastic ever kid fans hub if you know what's good for you you will that's for sure then guys i also have a couple of facebook groups myself first up i have my retro emulation and systems fan group guys i'll tell you what it is absolutely amazing because when me and my bestie nate set it up we had no idea that we were going to go past 2,000 members. I mean, that is a ton of like-minded folk to have a banter with. Absolutely wonderful. We are staggered over the moon with that, guys. And there is a fantastic admin team behind it as well. Very dedicated admin team to help you out with all your emulation problems and so on ton of content with system unboxing, system reviews, emulation performance and tech help videos and a whole lot more. So if you love emulation and retro systems, head below there's a link there. And then guys, I also have my UK Crack Gaming Facebook group as well where we cover everything from the dawn of gaming with Pong machines right the way through to PS5 and everything that came in between. And again guys, fantastic admin team, ever growing member base to have a banter with. So if you just love gaming full stop from any generation, link below again. And then guys, I have a merch store. Yes, if you would like to own a UK crap t-shirt or shopping bag or even a jigsaw, that is the place to go. There's a hell of a lot more products coming. So yeah, if you are interested in my merch, Please, again, head below. There is a link there to take you to my store. And finally, guys, I have my channel membership. Yes, you could become a member of the UK Crowd family from as little as 99 pence a month. There is another three tiers as well that go up in value. And, of course, different perks attached. But for 99p, guys, you can already get access to the members-only videos and get a badge next to your name that changes colour every month. So you know that you are in the UK crowd family and so does everybody else in the comments. With that, I'm going to love you and leave yourself videos in. Cheers and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.